Welcome to another video tutorial by EpoxyJewelry.com. Today what we're going to do is uh, do kind of a unique thing. We're going to take these little pebbles here, river rocks, that are, uh, you can find in like flower departments and stuff like that. They're made for putting in planters. Um, and we're going to fill some pendants with them. Now, I've already mixed up our two-part epoxy. Since we already have videos covering that, there's no need to duplicate it here. And what I've got is I've got, I've got uh, more than enough rocks in here. And what I'm going to do is pour a little bit. I hope you can see that there. Pour a little bit of that in there. And then I'm going to mix this up. We don't want too much epoxy. This is... Um, a subtle technique. You just want to get all of the rocks wet with the epoxy here. Hopefully you can see that real good there. Um, now, you notice I've got a glove on. Normally in my videos I don't wear gloves. This one may require a little manual manipulation, so I thought I'd don a glove just in case. Uh, okay, so now all you're doing is once you got your epoxy mixed properly, you mix it in here, and I, I've already got the right amount in there. You just want it just wet enough so that the, the rocks are kind of sticky. Okay, we're going to go like this. We're going to just scoop it in there a little at a time. You don't have to go fast with it. You've got uh, up to 30 minutes to work with the epoxy. And go like this and get it laid in there nicely like that. You know, depending on the size of your rocks, you may get a little better coverage or a little less coverage. Um, try to find a few small ones. Now that's not bad. Um, I think that'll work. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our epoxy and I'm just going to add a little bit more epoxy. And this is to act as a glue and a sealant. This is where it could get a little tricky because you don't want to add enough to where it overflows. Um, that actually looks pretty good right there. Okay, I'm going to set that one aside. I'm going to work on this one. These are our new pendants, by the way. A signature series uh, designed by me. Uh, I didn't actually manufacture them, of course. I sent the design off to a jewelry manufacturing plant. By the way, you'll notice I, uh, I dropped a few there. That's okay, because I always work on... When I'm working with a two-part epoxy, I always work on wax paper. This is one of the reasons I, I got a gloves on this time was because I might have to touch them there. I've got one stuck to the side. And we'll go ahead and just keep filling this one in. This ends up with a, a very earthy feel to it when you get done. I rather like it. That's why I picked the, um, the antique colors for the pendant here. It's an antique copper and an antique uh, brass pendant. Got some smaller stones. There we go. I'll fill that in. A little bit up there. Okay, I'm liking that. This one's might be a little fuller than the other one, but that's okay. And a little bit more epoxy. You got to really be careful how much epoxy you put in, because if you it, it may not look like enough, but if you put too much to start off with, it's going to overflow and it's going to be a, just a big mess. So that should be good. Um, let's see, I got one rock there. I don't like the way that was hanging out. 
but uh, I like the rest of it. And uh, that's going to be, that's going to be it, I think. Well, let's see here. I'm going to take this one rock off of here. That looks like it's a little too much. Okay. The rest of it's okay. Anyway, that is how you can do a uh, um, quick fill like that. Now, just for the heck of it, since I've got some stones left, uh, I'm going to take a, a mold here. And I'll set these aside. I'm going to take this here and I'm going to fill this mold with what's left of these rocks since they already have epoxy on them. Might as well use them for something, right? One in there. This could be used as a, when this one gets done, it could be used as a paperweight or something. Let's do that one and do a little bit in this one. There. Or you could actually make these into earrings or uh, buttons or pins or anything you want to. And these, these is, uh, this is, um, one of our new molds, too, our new uh, cavity molds. This is assorted gems, I believe is what this one is called. Okay, and then again with the epoxy, like this, and fill that in. Now this, I'm going to try to get it full up to the line. But again, going slow. Let that one settle for a minute. Let's see. Get this over in the camera where you can see a little bit better here. Oh yeah, that's good. And I think that's plenty. Okay, so now, as with always, with our uh, two-part epoxy, this does have to sit overnight, uh, actually 24 hours to fully cure. And uh, then I will pull them out and give you a quick image at the end of this video showing what everything looks like. Thank you again from epoxyjewelry.com.